Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to be talking about 11 great features of Windows 11. Let's jump right into this. It's one of the very best new features of Windows 11 in my opinion is a brand new UI. A lot of things have been updated, we have a lot of new icons and the whole thing feels a lot more 2021, 2022 and I think one of the best examples of this is our updated file explorer. All of our icons are much more stylish, the color choices and palettes here are a lot nicer and even the general layout and styling feels a lot nicer. We'll be looking at a couple of other features later on that also share this new updated aesthetic that I also feel add a lot to that as well but for me at the moment the very first thing that I like a lot is the actual file explorer and the whole updated UI across Windows 11. Even down to the lock screen and a couple of other things, I think it's a lot more updated and this is a very welcome change. The second nice feature for me is the updated animations and this is something that stands out a lot especially when changing window sizes when collapsing things. So for example when we double click to expand this file explorer you can see how rather than just pop popping into place, it actually has an animation where it smooths in and out. Even down to placing windows on the left and the right, it feels a lot smoother. We have a much nicer UI and visual appeal. Here you can see as I pop left and right, it actually pops on a lot nicer. Even down to collapsing and opening windows, we have a small little open and close animation on the taskbar, and these little touches make it feel a lot more alive, and in my opinion give a lot more texture to Windows 11, and it makes it feel a lot better. Now there are some apps that I feel could use improvement, and these are typically apps that have some sort of web loading in the background, for example Steam, while the animation does feel a lot better, some content on the page doesn't scale exactly right. For example, when I full screen it, it goes on a black border and takes a couple of seconds to load. But when I shorten the page, it actually flows in a lot nicer. And I think this is definitely something that could be improved. But overall, I feel the animations and the actual little textures and touches here give a lot more character to Windows. The next thing is going to be the group snapping. So I showed before how you can bring a window to the left and the right. But now what you can do is hover over the full screen icon. And here Windows gives us a lot of predefined sizes that we can set up. So here we can really easily set up two half windows. We can set up a three quarter and a quarter window. We can set up three one third windows. And we can set up a number of different stylings here so we can set up windows exactly how we want. This is really useful for larger screens or even if you're going to be using an ultra wide screen, having one center and two side pieces is a really nice touch. And having this nice interactive UI here feels a lot better. It allows for a lot more multitasking and allows you to set up everything exactly how you want. And I think this is a great new feature and makes a lot of sense for Windows and just builds upon what was already working from previous Windows 10 and some of the older previous windows as well. The next thing we can discuss is tab groups and this is specifically found on the taskbar. What we can do is hover over our taskbar and here we can see we can find our specific Windows 11 window which is here but next to this we can also see our group which will open up all of the windows that we had snapped here previously to it. So what we did is we set up the window on the top left, top right, bottom left and bottom right. So here we can easily snap to this full group. For example if I close all of these down I can open up the file explorer window separately or I can open up my previously created tab group where everything will open in its original location and will open exactly how it was before, which can help save a lot of time so you can really easily focus on one window at a time and then bring back up your master group later on to really easily continue from where you were. And I think this brings a lot of new flexibility. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is a little bit related to our UI that we mentioned earlier, but it's going to be specifically referring to our folder UI. And here a lot of little things have changed. For example, now on the top here, we have a lot of our quick action buttons. We have our cut, copy, paste, rename, share and delete all available here on the top. We also have a new option here where we can create a lot of new items really quickly, similar to how it's done on Mac OS. We also have our updated layout and UI for sort and view. And we even have our right click or menu items here as well. So we have a lot of extra options here. Our right click has also been updated in terms of UI. So this also falls into our point from before. You see that this has gotten a full layout and update as well. It looks a lot nicer. And I think overall it's gotten a lot more improvements. The next thing we're gonna be talking about is our updated start button and the widgets. And I feel like this has gotten a lot of improvement as well. So for me, I've already actually left aligned all of my taskbar icons. If you'd like to do that, I'll leave a card on screen. But for me, this new updated start button makes a lot more sense. These pinned items are a lot more flexible and allow for a lot more space to be shown here, especially in comparisons to the tiles on Windows 10. I feel these are a lot better. And we can even set up multiple pages here of items that we can have at any point. We really easily have access to all of our apps here again in the usual Windows style and here we can actually search for a lot of different things, not only files but web applications too. So for example here you can search news from all to applications, documents, web. We can even search inside emails, folders, music, people and a bunch of other things. I think this updated search bar and this updated start button is a lot better in this new version of Windows and I think this is one of the biggest improvements. 
Another place that has also received a nice overhaul is our notification tray. Now our notification tray feels a lot nicer. It doesn't open up a full right hand sidebar, but it opens up this nice little UI here where we can separate and really easily swipe away and view all of our notifications. Our calendar has also been updated here to allow a lot more options and we can really easily refer to everything here. Close it down to just be the day's date or you can expand it to show the full calendar. Alongside this, which is a sub point to this, we also have an option here called focus assist settings. And this is another really nice feature of Windows 11 where we can set up and prioritize what notifications we're gonna be getting depending on what we're actually doing at the time. So we can avoid getting any distractions while we're trying to work. We can set up our notifications to off, priority only, alarms only. And here we can do a bunch of other things to set up during certain times, to do certain times or other rules here as well. So you can really easily customize windows for what you want during work hours and what you want during off hours. So you can get exactly what you want. And then one of the extra nice things I like is for media and extra notifications. If we come down here to the bottom right of our windows, right next to our clock icon, we can click on our volume and Wi-Fi or Ethernet. And here we get a lot of different options. At the very top here, we will see the current media that's being played or is available. And here we can switch between the different devices and applications that are connected. So currently we have Google Chrome here with a YouTube video I'm currently watching. Here you can play or pause any podcast or music you're listening to. And you can really easily switch back and forth between these devices. Below this then we can also enable and disable Wi-Fi. Bluetooth, flight mode, night mode, focus assist, and even our volume controls right here. And we have quick access to certain things, for example, the different Wi Fi networks that we're available to. We can customize quick action settings, and we can even go to all settings and launch all of our settings from down here. So these are all really, really nice options. The next thing we're going to be discussing are the updated settings in Windows, and here a lot has been done. I feel this definitely still needs some more improvement in the long term, but I feel they've already made a lot of great steps here. All of our settings are put in better categories, and everything. Everything is laid out in a much more clear fashion. Even the individual settings, for example, are multi displays are a lot clearer to understand. And I feel like our overall settings layout and UI feels a lot better here too. So the settings has gotten a complete overhaul and I feel they're much better in Windows 11. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is the addition of allowing Android apps coming to Windows 11. Now this is only available for people at the moment who are inside the Insider Beta program. But when this comes out, I think this will be a really, really nice thing. The opportunity to have Android apps on Windows is going to allow a lot of extra flexibility for Windows devices. I think this is a little bit to combat Mac now supporting iOS devices with the new M1 chips. However, I think this is a nice addition and allowing Android apps in the future will definitely bring a lot of extra flexibility as well. And there are approximately 11 different features that I think are really great and really nice additions in Windows 11. Hopefully they keep adding different things in the future, but I hope they refine a couple of things. That's not to say everything on Windows 11 is perfect. I do plan to bring another video in the future where I show 11 different things I don't like about Windows 11. There's definitely room for improvement here, but I think a lot of things they have brought do bring a lot of nice improvements. And I think overall it's definitely worth the upgrade from Windows 10. Do you have other things that you like about Windows 11? Maybe there's certain things that you like that I missed. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Or if you agree with my list or want to update some things, be sure to let me know that as well. Anyway, guys, I want to take this moment to give a huge shout out to the channel members, Sean Daly, Joshua Davis, and Devante Hunt. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to have your name shout out in future videos or some other perks, be sure to click the join button on any video on the channel. It would really help me out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. If you want to support me, be sure to drop a super thanks in this video. It greatly helped me out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.